Hello everyone, how are you doing? I hope you're great. So this is the first part of the airplane tutorial series where we're gonna build this airplane. So this is a physics-based airplane in an arcade style, much like GTA. So let me just take off here to show you how this works. So every surface is animated, as you can see, the elevators, the aileron, and the rudder all animated. And of course, we can retract the landing gear. So this is what we're gonna build in this series, but first, if you do like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe so you don't lose any new content, and without further ado, let's start! Okay, so I'm here in Unreal Engine 5.4 in a third-person template and to focus only in the airplane itself, I already created a interaction system. So if I hit play here, um, I already have an interaction system going on and I changed the character to this metahuman. But I only did the interaction part. We're gonna build the airplane from scratch. Let me show you the folders. So here I have a blueprints folder with bases that has the HUD class, the player controller class, a character class and the game mode. In components I only have uh, the component for the interaction part. And in interfaces I have some interfaces again for the interaction part. In inputs I have the main input and walking input. In the main I have only the input to move the mouse, right? To move the camera. Um, and in the walking uh, inputs here, I have inputs for the characters. So jump, move, sprint, and interact. So if we come back here, and in the widgets, I have a widget for the interaction part uh, itself. So again, we're gonna build the airplane uh, from scratch, but I already created this so we can focus only in the airplane. So for the airplane wheels, we will actually use the Chaos Vehicle plugin, so we need to enable that. To enable, just go to Edit, Plugins, and here search for Vehicle, and here we have the Chaos Vehicles plugin. Just enable that and click on Yes, and now you need to restart the engine. And now we need to import the model. So for that, let's go to the folders here. In the content folder, I will create a new one for assets like this. Let's open this and here I will create another one for SKM for skeleton mesh. Let's open this and here I will create another one for airplane like this. Of course, if you have the name for the airplane, you can just put the name here. So let's open this folder and here let's import. Okay, so I imported the model. Uh, let me open to show you. So I created this model in Blender. Uh, it's a completely uh, ready to use model with a skeleton. So if you want to follow along with this series, you can download this model in the link in the description. Okay, so after importing the model, the first thing that we need to do to make the wheels work is change the physics asset. So let's open this and as you can see, uh, these physics bodies were created by default. We're gonna delete all this, so just select everything here um, and delete like this. We're gonna build this from scratch. So now just click on this uh, symbol here and go to show all bones to see the airplane bones here. Um, so we need to create a physics body for the hood and for the wheels. So let's select the hood here. And because I weight painted some parts of the model to the hood here, we can actually create a mood convex shape. So just select the hood here. And here in tools, if you're not seeing this tab, just go to window and here you have the tools tab, right? So here, let's change the primitive type here to mood convex hood. Let's click on this. And let's expand this advanced category here. Here I will increase the hook count to 12, like this. And now let's click on Add Bodies. 
and as you can see now we have some collision shapes in the airplane. Now we need to do something similar for the wheels, so let's select here the back wheel uh, right, the back wheel left, and the front wheel. You need to select these bones here because this is the bones for the wheel. So just select these three one, back wheel left, back wheel right, and front wheel. And here in the tools tab, let's change the primitive type back to sphere. Let's put sphere here. And now just click on add bodies. And with those three selected, the bodies now, the back wheel left body, back wheel right body, and the front wheel body, select all these three. And here in the tails, in collision response, change to disable, and in the physics type, change to kinematic. And there you go. This is all we need to do for the physics asset. Now we can click on this symbol again and click on uh, hide bonds. And there we go. Now we have this uh, organization here. Okay, so with the physics asset out of the way, now let's create the airplane blueprint. But first, let's create a better map so we can test. To do this, let's go to File, New Level, and here let's select the basic level. Let's create. And now you just need to save this map. So let me just save here to the maps folder um, and I will name this map test like this. Now let's create the airplane blueprint. So just go where you have all your blueprints. For me is in the blueprints folder. Um, here I will create a new folder for vehicles like this. Let's open this and here I will create a new one for the airplane. Let's open and here let's create the blueprint. So just right click and go to blueprint class and in all classes just search here for vehicle and you will have uh, this one here, wheeled vehicle pound. Let's click on this and select and I will name this BP airplane. And again, if you have a name for the airplane, just put the name of the airplane. So let's open this um, and first we need to set the mesh here, right? So just click on the mesh and here in skeletal mesh, just select the airplane mesh. So this one here, SKM airplane. And there we go. So now we need uh, to create the wheels. For the wheels, let's go back where we have the airplane blueprint. Here, let's create a new folder for wheels. Let's open this and here let's create the wheel class. So right click and go to uh, blueprint class. And here again, search for wheel. And we have this one here, Chaos Vehicle Wheel. Just click on this and select. Let's name this wheel, um, wheel, airplane, airplane front, like this. This is the front airplane wheel. So let's open this. And now we need to uh, set some settings here. So first, the Excel type, let's change this to front, because of course, this is the front wheel. Uh, let's enable affected by steering like this and let's enable affected by handbrake like this. So now we need to put a wheel width and a wheel radius. So let me show you how you can get these values. To get those values, let's go back to the map and let's put the airplane in the map. So just drag the blueprint in the map like this. And now let's change uh, this option here from perspective to top like this. And now let's zoom in one of the wheels. So this one, for example, let's disable the snap on location here. And now if you click and hold with the middle mouse button, as you can see, we have a measure line. So the diameter of this wheel is approximately 50, as you can see, and the width is something like uh, 18, as you can see. So let's go back to the wheel. And here in wheel width, I will put 18. And for the wheel radius, let's put 25 because uh, 25 is half of the diameter, which is 50. So there you go. Let's compile and save. And now we can create the rear wheel. The back wheels will be really simple because we just need to duplicate the front wheel. To do this, let's go back to the folders and here where we have the wheel airplane front, let's duplicate this and now let's name this wheel airplane rear like this. Let's open this and here we just need to change the exo type to rear 
and let's disable the affected by steering. And there we go, that's all we need to do, let's compile and save, and now let's put these wheel classes on the airplane blueprint. To do this, let's select the vehicle movement component, and here in wheel setup category we have wheel setups. This is an array of wheel classes, so let's add three here, because uh, I have three wheels on this airplane, so let's expand each one of these. So for each one we can set a wheel class. So for this first one let's select wheel airplane front, and for the other ones let's select wheel airplane rear, like this. Now we need to set a bone name for each one of these. To do this let's click on the mesh here and let's double click on the skeleton mesh so we can open this and here we have all the bones of this airplane. So let's right click on the front wheel bone here and let's click on cop selected bone names. Let's click on this, let's go back to the BP airplane, let's click on vehicle movement component and where we have the airplane front wheel class in the bone name let's put the name of the bone, right? So let's do the same for the other ones, so let's go back to the mesh here. And now let's copy the back wheel left, so right click, go to cop selected bone names, go back and here in the rear class, in the bone name, just put the name here. And of course do the same for the right wheel, so back wheel right, cop the name and just put on bone name here. And there we go, now the wheels uh, should be working. But for this to work, we need to set the mesh to simulate physics. To do this, just select the mesh here and scroll until you find the physics tab and here just check simulate physics. Let's compile and save and now let's test to see if this is working. Okay, so let's go back to the map and just put the uh, airplane blueprint in the map like this and let's hit play to see if this is working. And it is, as you can see, but the airplane falls with the tail. So this is because uh, we need to change the center of mass, so let's do this. But before changing the center of mass, let me show you how you can see the center of mass. So here in the viewport, if you go to show advanced, here we have mass properties, just click on this and now we can see uh, the center of mass of each uh, physics body. So for the wheel, for example, here we have the center of mass, let me just change this from lit to wireframe so you can see this better. So here we have this axis uh, icon here, this is the center of mass of this wheel, and as you can see we have one for each wheel, and for the airplane is this one here. So basically the center of mass of this airplane is right here. This is why the airplane is falling with the tail. So we need to change this position here, the position of this center of mass. To change this, let's go back to the airplane blueprint, let's select the vehicle movement component, and if we scroll down until we see the vehicle setup category, here we have the center of mass. Let's first enable the override here and let's put maybe 50 on the Z so you can see this. Let's compile and save and if we go back to the map, as you can see, nothing changes with the center of mass. Um, this is because if we want to see uh, this override here, we need to draw the center of mass at runtime. So let's do this. To do this, let's go to the event graph and here let's delete the begin play and the actor begin overlap, let's stick with the tick event. So here just right click and type draw debug sphere, let's click on this node here and let's connect the execution pin. So now we need a center location, so this uh, of course is the center of mass. So to get the center of mass, just drag the mesh in the graph like this. And from the mesh we can type get center of mass, so let's click on this one here, get skeletal center of mass. Let's click on this and let's connect on the center here. So for the radius I will put here 20 and for the line color let's put something like purple, like this. Let's hit OK, let's compile and save. And now let's see this, and again, this is just a debug, only for us to set the center of mass, right? So let's go back to the map, and now uh, if we hit play, we can see the center of mass here. So as you can see, is uh, down here, we need to change this position. So to change this, let's go back, 
to the BP airplane, let's select the vehicle movement component and let's scroll down. So here in the center of mass, I already found uh, numbers for this. Th this number will vary for each type of airplane that you are doing. So if you have another airplane model, these numbers might be different for you. But for me, here in the X is 150, 0 in the Y and uh, in the Z is actually 60. So let's put these numbers here. Let's click on compile and save. And now let's hit play again to see this. So as you can see, now the center of mass is right here, is um, a little bit in the front of the back wheels, as you can see. So this uh, is the correct position for my airplane here. And again, if you have a different model, this might be different for you. But there we go. Now the airplane uh, is sitting on top of the wheels. Okay, so now we can go to the airplane blueprint in the event graph and let's delete this because we don't need this anymore. Let's compile and save and now everything should be working. Let me just change this from wireframe to lit. So if we hit play now and if I push this airplane, the wheels should be working. As you can see, it is working, but the wheels are not animating. So now let's animate the wheels. To animate the wheels, we need an animation blueprint. So let's create one. Let's go back to the folders where we have the airplane blueprint. Here I will create a new folder for animations like this. Let's open this and here let's create the animation blueprint. So right click, go to animation and here select animation blueprint. Um, here you, you need to select the airplane skeleton. So select here and create. I will name this ABP for animation blueprint airplane like this. So now let's open this and first we need to change the parent of this animation blueprint. So to do this, uh, click on class settings and here in parent class, we need to change this to vehicle animation instance. So just click here and now let's create the nodes. This will be really simple. First, we need to get uh, the mesh pose here. So just right click and type mesh pose and click on this one here, mesh space ref pose. Let's click on this. And now let's drag from this and type uh, wheel. So we have this node here, wheel controller for wheeled vehicle. Let's click on this. And now we just need to connect this on the output. So just uh, drag on the result here. And as you can see, a component to local node uh, was created. So this is basically all we need to do. Let's compile and save. And now we just need to put this animation blueprint on the airplane. So let's go back to the airplane blueprint. Let's select the mesh. And here in a name class, let's select the animation blueprint that we created. So the ABP airplane. And there we go. Let's compile and save. And now the uh, wheels should be animating. So let's test this. Let's go back to the map and hit play. And now if I push the airplane, the wheels should be uh, rotating. So let me just push here. And as you can see, now the wheels are working. And this is basically it for this video. Now we have an airplane blueprint with the wheels working. So in the next video, we're going to create the enter and exit functionalities. So if you do like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe so you don't lose any new content. And as always, thank you for watching. Keep learning. I'll see you in the next video.